Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this recording, we'll demonstrate the use of iMachining 2D on this part. Now, before we even go into the operations, let's first take a quick look at the camp part itself, and you'll see that we've defined in the iMachining data our machine that we'll be using the material that we'll be using, and the default machining level. Now, we'll start our first operation with machining the outside of this part, the stock material up until the actual part itself. So if we go into our first operation, you'll note we've chosen the option of I rough. Our geometry is the outside boundary over here marked as our first chain and is marked as an open chain. And our second boundary is the inside chain over there. The tool is as defined over here, a half inch tool. And if we go into our levels, we'll be going down until this edge. We've also added a little more to go past that edge as to mill away the sharp burb that may occur on the other side. In our technology wizard, you'll note that we moved our machining level up to level six, and we'll be going down in one step. That's because the amount that we'll be going down is less than what the cutting length of our actual tool is. Now, if we take a look at our simulation, and we'll view it from the top view in our host CAD, you'll note that it first machines out the corners as shown over there, and then it works around the part in a morph spiral cutting fashion to cut out the entire, all the material that's over there. And in our next operation, we'll again be working on the outside, but this time we'll be using the technology of I finish using the exact same tool that we used in our previous operation, but this time using the finish. If we go into our technology, you'll note that we have the iRest data marked off over here, where it looks automatically according to what the previous operation left for, that, for this cut. Now, in our next operations, we'll be working in the areas where we have through pockets such as this area over here, these holes over here. In other words, every single pocket that's considered a through pocket, including this pocket over here. If we were to go into the operation itself, you can see that the geometry are all of the diameters as shown over there. And again, we'll be using the exact same end mill that we used in our previous operation. If we go into our technology wizard, again, we're we'll working at level six. And just as before, since we're going down the same depth, we'll be doing this all in one step. Now, if we take a look at the simulation this time, you'll note that in those pockets, it goes down in a helical fashion until it gets to the bottom and then does the spiral tool path at the bottom on that floor itself clearing out every single floor and going into each pocket using the option of helical entrance. In our next operation, we'll just be doing a finish cut on this, on the previous operation using the same geometry and using the same technology that we used in our previous finish cut. Next, to mill out this area with the angle, we just use a simple HSR operation as shown over here in our simulation. And then we continue by doing a rough eye machining cut in these areas over here. If we were to open up this operation of eye machining, again, you'll note that we have eye rough. If we take a look at the geometry, you'll note that these areas over here and over here are marked as open as the tool can come in from the outside. These areas where we cleared before with the eye machining is marked with two chains, an outside chain and inside chain, where the inside chain is marked as open, knowing that it can also come in from the outside over here. And the same with all of these 
chains over there. The rest are marked as regular closed pockets. The tool in this particular case will be a smaller end mill. And again, if we go down to our technology wizard, the length of the tool is large enough to go down in one step to the floor of the part over here. If we take a look at our simulation, you'll note that the tool goes in from the outside in these areas, as it's marked as an open pocket over here, and the same with this area over here as well. This is done for every single pocket that's mark marked as an open chain, as well as this one over here. And then it'll go into these areas over here and machine from this circle to the wall and the same with all of these other pockets. This pocket, however, was a completely closed pocket, so it entered it in a heavy cal fashion. And the same thing with this pocket as well. Note, when it goes into its next pocket, it worked from this area over here, working its way in because this was machined before, and this was marked as an open pocket, knowing that it can come in from the outside. The same as this and this as well. In this operation, we'll be doing a finish cut on all of the areas of the previous operation using the same technology as we did in the other finish cuts. And the next operation after that, we'll be finishing off these surfaces over here using the HSS technology. And we'll also be drilling out these holes over here using the regular drilling operations. Now in our next operation, we'll be working on the flip side of the part as shown over here. We have to machine out this surface around over here as well as this surface on top over here and complete this circle over here. So if we go into our first operation, we'll be working on this area around over here. If we take a look at the geometry, you'll note that we're working Mac 2 position 1 and the geometry is this as our outside boundary because we still have this stock left over here and this over here as our second boundary which is a closed chain. The tool that we'll be using again will be the first tool, the half inch end mill and the levels will be going down up until this floor over here. In our technology wizard we'll be working on level 6 going down in one step. Taking a quick look at the simulation, you'll note that it works from the outside, moving its way in up until that circle as shown over here. In our next operation, we'll just be doing a regular eye machining operation inside this circle, just like we did on the other side when we milled out those pockets over there. And in the following operation, we'll be doing a face cut on this surface over here using eye machining. Just to quickly open up this operation itself, you'll note the geometry is this outside boundary over here marked as open and this one in over here. Again, using the half inch and mill and the levels going down up until this surface over here. Taking a quick look at the simulation, you'll note the tool goes down and machines all of these, this entire surface over here up until the middle. Now for our final operation, we just did a profile operation with a tool that has a radius in order to complete this surface over here as shown on the part. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website www.solidcam.com and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.